This is a patient with ovarian cancer who comes in for routine staging examinations. We can see on the first one, we've done this with intravenous contrast. We haven't given oral contrast. As we scroll downwards, we can see there's prior surgeries, uh, bowel surgery, the patient's status post-hysterectomy, nephorectomy. Um, you know, and as we scroll upwards again, it's uh, you can go through organ by organ, do your um, checklist as you go through this, and you'll see that at first it's quite difficult to pick up on uh, the abnormality over here. Patient comes back for a, another retasting study, and this time we do with oral contrast. As we scroll downwards, we can see that right there in the pelvis, there's an abnormality. And it's sort of embedded and adjacent to all these loops of bowel. Right over there, there's soft tissue attenuation mass in the right lower quadrant. You can see that the round ligament adjacent to it is also thickened. There's maybe a nodule deep to that rectus muscle. And we go back. All these findings were there on the prior study. Much more difficult to detect due to the lack of oral contrast. But now that we've given oral contrast, we can see that uh, this finding is more apparent. And We've certainly gone away from giving oral contrast for a lot of our patients, but uh, it can be useful as we've seen in this instance. Luckily, uh, for this case, we were able to pick up this finding um, on the first CT and you know, stable essentially on the next CT, and these findings are compatible with recurrent neoplasm.